Two years ago, as the Volga River city of Yaroslavl approached its 1,000th anniversary, Russian Prime Minister Vladimir Putin poured millions of dollars into refurbishing churches and restoring the city's medieval Kremlin. Then disaster struck. Last year, anti-Kremlin feelings surged here in Yaroslavl after President Medvedev took over a local sports arena for a conference, forcing the local hockey team to play an out-of-town game. The plane took off, crashed here on this riverbank, killing 37 trainers and players on board, the entire team. President Medvedev's gesture to the city was not enough. When Yaroslavl voted for mayor, an outsider, Yevgeny Yurlashov, beat the pro-Kremlin candidate 70 to 28. Erlashov said the plane crash turned people against Moscow. Practically the entire city sobbed and cried. Thousands of people, 90,000 or around 100,000 people, walked to the Arena 2000 to lay flowers. It was an enormous tragedy. But there was more than that. Residents said they were fed up with corruption that had grown up around a pro-Kremlin mayor who had governed this city for 23 years. People are finally saying enough is enough. We do not want this anymore, but we want to peacefully change, precisely through election, not revolution, not with the help of some type of forceful actions. We want an evolutionary and lawful path to elect new power. This kind of grassroots democracy has gotten the Kremlin's attention. Opposition candidates recently won races for mayor in Yaroslavl and four other big cities. In May, a new law will allow direct elections for governor. In advance, the Kremlin rushed to appoint governors in eight key regions, including Moscow. Andrei Chekhanov, a supporter of Ulashov, believes the road to the Kremlin goes through cities like Yaroslavl. People showed that they have an opinion separate from those in power. And in the case of this city, this is a very important trend for all of Russia. As Vladimir Putin prepares for his May 7 inauguration as president, he faces a Russia that is increasingly prepared to say nyet. James Brook, VOA News, Yaroslavl.